James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying a really nice uh, Salvatore Ferragamo tie. If you know anything about me, I love Ferragamo's products. Uh, I've got a lot of the shoes, belts, ties, uh, even some t-shirts and things like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just a great name in, in Italian luxury fashion. Um, most Salvatore Ferragamo ties, at least most of them I have, are novelty ties. They have um, little designs. And what I like about Ferragamo is from a distance it's just a classy looking tie. And as you get closer, they have like little characters or cartoons or you know novelty items. This particular tie is blue with little white, uh, white uh, and blue birds. So the pattern that you see, a geometric pattern, is actually made a bunch of little teeny tiny birds. Uh, if you check my Instagram out, you'll see actually close-ups so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, this is a brand new tie. This is from his newest collection. I just got this a few weeks ago on my last trip uh, down to uh, Neiman Marcus in Charlotte. Uh, shout out to Andre Mastalis and uh, also my girlfriend Allison. They, they helped me pick out this tie. And actually, uh, it's a beautiful tie. I absolutely love it. We're going to tie it up here in just a minute. As far as our review goes, um, the silk on a Ferragamo always... Whoops, let me take that tag off. I had not take the price tag off yet. The silk on Ferragamo always lies really nice. You know, I've got a lot of their ties. It's a very thin tie, and the silk's always lying perfect. And Ferragamo makes theirs with a really smooth, like a buttery smooth uh, silk uh, uh, structure. You know, uh, smooth silk, silk's what I'm trying to get across. And they have a very good screen printing, pr printing process that they use, where they screen print multiple times to make it look so, so good. And always, their ties are always phenomenal. I have had no bad Ferragamo ties yet, and I've got probably I don't know, 20, 30, somewhere in that range. I need to do an inventory sometime. Anyway, Ferragamo, a beautiful tie. We're going to tie it up here in just a second and see how it comes together. So, a little tongue tied there just a minute ago. So, one thing about Ferragamo ties, they're almost all the same. So, it's easy for me to pick the, the length out. I know I'm, I know with Ferragamo, will be right around here. And the back of the tie is going to come just below my pectoral muscle. So, let's tie this baby up. Take the long part of the tie over top of the short part, underneath, up, and through. Then we're going to come around behind, keeping everything nice and tight, around, down, and through. Now I'll call this a checkpoint. We want to look and make sure our knot's coming together, which it is. And then we're going to come around the front, creating a little pocket right here, back in behind, up, and through. And then we're going to push the tie down through the pocket we just created, hold the top of the pocket, pull on the tie. Now one thing about Ferragamo ties, man, where that silk is so smooth, they tie beautifully. Probably the easiest tie to tie out there as far as from a feel standpoint. So now we're going to hold on to the knot, we're going to pull on the long part of the tie, and whoop, there's our perfect little triangle. Hold on to the knot, pull the short part of the tie to bring it up to our neck, and then we want to check for length. We want the tip of the tie, this part right here, to come between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle, and now it. it's right there in the middle, exactly where we want it to be. And again, I've tied a lot of Ferragamo ties, so I know exactly where they're going to be, even though this is a brand new tie, never been tied before, they're almost always going to be similar in, in uh, in length and size and in material. So it's pretty easy to judge those for me. Now we want no gap right here, so we're going to take and tighten this up just a little bit. Now again, to tighten the tie, we um, tighten the knot itself, we hold the knot, pull on the long part. To bring it up, we pull on the shorter part of the tie. <coughs> Excuse me, got a little air bubble going on in my throat. So we'll get rid of this gap here. Make everything symmetrical. Look how beautiful that came together. I mean, it's absolutely perfectly tied tie. And it's, it's wonderful. We're going to tuck the back into the keeper. Let's go over the look. It's going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen right now. I'm going to go, with, go through it with you, though, right now. Um, I'm wearing a blue Amerna Gildo Zinnia suit. It is a kind of a, a lighter, a little bit lighter than navy, but it's still a beautiful suit. Um, our shirt today is also Zinnia, so we're wearing a Zinnia suit, Zinnia shirt. And it's, it's a white with a little pink hue to it. It has a little bit of a pink hue. And this is from their 100s line. It's a really comfortable, very nice uh, cotton shirt. Our tie today is a Salvatore Ferragamo novelty tie with little birds. And our belt today is Ferragamo. So we're going Zinnia, Zinnia, Ferragamo, Ferragamo, Ferragamo. Ferragamo tie, Ferragamo belt with a Ferragamo belt buckle, and a pair of Ferragamo light brown Oxford shoes. So uh, everything's Italian today. Love this look. It looks phenomenal. Uh, if you want to check out my Instagram, it's tie guy James Acres. On my Instagram, there's going to be close-ups of the tie. So you can see the little birds, selfies of me wearing it, close-ups of the knot, as well as the whole outfit staged. And I'm doing pictures of the labels now because I've had a lot of people asking, you know, what do they look like, what does the liner look like, and things like that. So check out my Instagram, guys. If you like my videos, please click on subscribe and like and uh, keep up with me. I'm always posting new content. I appreciate you guys, but I am ready for work.